Swipe. Now, you know, we got another one for you. We got another one for you with the black interview. So, you know, we're going to get straight into everything. But first, I do want you to introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Harmony. Hello, Harmony. Say hello to the people, man. Say what's happening, man. What's up, people? All right, all right. Y'all about to see it all, hear it all. So we about to hear the movie, man. Now, (laughs) now we gonna walk through the movie for the people that's gonna tune in. They gonna tune in for sure, for sure. The raw cut. So let's get into it, man. Let's start from the beginning. Tell me, you know where you grew up at? I know it's Kansas. Yeah. So, so tell me about Kansas, the childhood. Let's get into it. Childhood. Um, my childhood was lit, low key. Um, I was adopted at two, so I had um, good parents. I played ball a lot, you know, AI on the court. Um, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> we're not going to let you cap like that. Somebody got to vouch for you if you like that. Y'all go go check out my highlights. Go look me up. Oh, you got highlights on the internet? Yeah. All right, all right. Where they can find that at? Just Google me. Y'all going to have to. What is my the real Google name? name? Shayla. Shayla. Man, I don't even want y'all to have my real name. All right, well, they got it now. No. <laughs> Y'all just tune in on my YouTube. I'm going to put up a video of me balling. Put that? up a video so we can vouch for you. Shit, yeah. All right, all right. I'm so y'all, so y'all at two years old, you were adopted. Yeah. All right, yeah. so were your parents black? Um, my mother's Mexican. Um, my dad is black. Uh, my mom, she was just a young mother at the time, and she had other kids as well, my other siblings. Um, and my dad was in and out of prison, real abusive, crazy. So they ended up taking all of us away, basically, from my mom. So you met both of your parents eventually? Yeah, um, when I was 20, 26, I met my mom for the first time. Wow, um, wow, that's And I've only special. met her that one time. Yeah, but oh, we talk wow. every day, though. Yeah. Okay, that's important. Long of y'all at least yeah. chatting now, you Oh, did? yeah, 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 All right, I'll be I, on fam. So let's get back to, to two now. Now, yeah. you're, you're with the foster parents. Did you think they were your real parents? What's going on? How yeah, was that? Yeah, at that age, I think so. Um, I think, you know, they waited until I was older and could process things a little better to tell me, you know, I was adopted, and that was okay, and they never threw no shade on my my real parents they was just like you know they couldn't take care of you and they just wanted a better life so but did they treat you like theirs oh yeah yeah i was spoiled all right so you were spoiled coming up now 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 so let's let now let's get to like elementary school you were were you good back then um no i had a lot of uh behavior problems um you know i had um an episode of some sexual abuse going on when i was really young at five so i had a very like troubled elementary school teenage life wow, like wow. acted out a lot so it lasted okay. all the way through teenage or it just was yeah dead? yeah At five that's ridiculous yeah. was like i mean i'm not trying to get into everything yeah. but was it like you were adopted mm-hmm. uh, i was adopted with another little boy and um he oh. was the one that actually um was doing the abuse oh wow um, did he get caught year. um yeah i eventually told my parents and um yeah it was a really big deal um they tried to take me away from them but they ended up just taking him out and um i've actually kind of you know closed up on all that stuff like got some closure because i actually spoke with dude actually like last year so man fuck kinda, dude yeah no yeah for sure yeah. um he was young though he was like 12 so, ain't no you know, excuses it's not it's not but you know he he went through a lot of sexual abuse he was having to have sex with his siblings when he was young i don't even know if i should be putting this on the internet <laughs> it's should out we there put this fuck on the this internet? nigga man this like, nigga story. like but you know i'm just saying for myself you know you gotta get closure on things so you can move forward with things you do so you that do was man a, a big thing in my my life so well, I'm, I'm glad I did I'm that. glad you feel that you got closure mm-hmm. but still fuck dude yeah always now now now, now <laughs> we to, don't agree with that to, to the next you know now let's let's get in the middle school so you're saying you were acting out because things were happening to you yeah basically like it had already happened but I just think it made me uh, problematic probably a lot of trauma and stuff. probably made you hate men um yeah not really no not honestly, really not really it's saying when I've mentioned men you start smiling like, I like, love niggas. Okay, 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 okay. Good, good. We got the complete. I know opposite there's, I know there's time. bad people and there's good people. I don't, you know, put judgments on other people from what one individual. Has so, done. do you go off like energy, or what do you go off yeah. for a person like energy? Okay, energy. okay, okay. All right, how you feeling right now? 
good energy. All right, all right so energy. we go, we go keep it the moving. Energy locked at so, the door. so, so <laughs> now, now you know, you know, middle school. You said you started acting out. Let's get into <laughs> high school. What, what would you say something that you feel you lashed out in high school? Um, basically, just like probably running away. I would um, pretty much leave and go like out the state and be gone. Like in I was high with, school, yeah, what age is this? Let's give them at, an age. At fifteen, I think. Um, you know, me and my parents, like I said, we had a a lot of problems because I was always in trouble. So um, I was always running away, and they was like, "Well, if you keep leaving, we're gonna leave you at the group home, and we're not gonna come get you." And they did not come back and get my ass. So once they left me at that group home, and I became a ward of the state again, I was out. I was dipping. They took me to the the school, and I had me a little backpack, and I dipped to California. Wow, wow. So so you're you were in Kansas. Yeah. At what age was it again when you were in the group home? Um I got back in the group home at 15. So you were 15 and then you ran away to California. Yeah, with a boyfriend of mine. Yeah. That was how old? What you mean? What repeat that? You heard me. <laughs> <laughs> you heard me. He was um he was sixteen. He was sixteen. He was okay, grown. okay. He was sixteen. <laughs> I just had to make sure. I'm, I'm, you know how to make sure I heard that way. No, but no he was. Um, so y'all his both. Was just y'all was just bad. Yeah, he, he was in a lot of gangs. He's originally from California, from Sacramento, and his and that's where y'all was, went to yeah, Sacramento. Yeah, we went up to Sacramento. Okay, okay. Now, so shifting from you know Kansas, let's give him a little description of. Kansas because you say Ooh. you're not from Kansas City no. so let's give them a description of Kansas yeah I'm from Wichita Kansas and that's pretty much nothing out there it's flatland no hills no ocean no tall buildings because the tornadoes like it's nothing out there like literally um we probably got 12 high schools um it's probably about half the size of richmond let me say that it's probably like half the size okay of so wichita is half the size of richmond yeah i think that would okay. be a good so even smaller estimate yeah all right all right small. so so is are is it everybody knows everybody somebody's related do to people somebody. have money out there or some they? some niggas get money i'm not even gonna cap like some niggas in the city they'll go to like colorado they'll go to missouri they'll go down to texas you know and then come back and trap in our city and stuff and and we got some people doing big things out there but mostly no nah. okay okay no. but you That's are you I still tapped in there. out there oh yeah i always wear my city i got it tatted on my face okay okay so. tatted on her face you know so so <laughs> let's my city. let's get into the face test right now yeah. then since you bought that up people want to hear that so yeah. so for sure you said the city's tatted on your face what else yeah. you got tatted on your face well, looking great by the way <laughs> gotta let you, you know that thank you um yeah i got a scorpion on my face because i'm a scorpion Scorpio, I'm real reckless, crazy, and I think a Scorpio, yeah, it's true what they say about us. So I had to tap that because that's me 100%. And I got my music note on my face, of course, music like the love of my life. So we gonna get into the music for yeah, sure, for, for sure, sure, for, for sure. sure. So, but so so, and what's the third one? My third one is the three one six okay. for my city. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So as far as the music though, now you know you're in California. Were you doing the music before then or going in? Um, I wasn't like going to no studios or nothing. When I was in Cali, like I said, I was underage, so I was just thugging it really. But um I started doing music. I was writing music always. Like when I was in fifth grade, I was writing songs and singing them on the intercom. Like when they do the little morning uh, announcements and shit. So, and I would write a lot of raps when I was in foster care and in group homes. That's how I would kind of get through a lot of stuff was writing music. That's fire. Yeah. That's definitely yeah. fire. So, so, all right. Now, you know, you said you moved to Sacramento, mm -hmm. California. Yeah. How long were you out there? I think I was out there for about seven months, seven, eight months. Okay. So what, what the hell? I know that's, <laughs> that's a big difference. So what yeah. the hell? changed um everything it was so fast paced out there you see a lot of shootings out there like you think you see gang members and shit you know but 
until you really go out in Cali, I feel like, or New York, you you ain't seen nothing. So, so you've been in New York, too? Yeah, I've been oh, out there. So we're going to get yeah. into that, too. Right? I've been a little bit of everywhere. Oh, so you've been everywhere. Okay, yeah. okay. Damn near. Okay, Damn that's near. fire. All right, I've been around. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> nah, so, so, so as far as, as, as yourself now, so we're in Cali now. Did you, you said your man at the time was a gang member, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is a long time ago. Yeah. Did you indulge in that activity? Oh, uh, nah, I wasn't in no gang gang shit. I don't, I don't really like gangs. I don't think that's a a positive thing for young black men. But I definitely was out doing some some shit I wasn't supposed to be doing. So were you catching fades out there? No. Okay. I good. Was, good. No. Maybe trying to duck some fades from my nigga, but. <laughs> Whoa, whoa! At sixteen, <laughs> yo, you was catching. Fit. No, he was crazy, but we we fought a couple times, but it wasn't nothing like crazy. Did you ever get him at least one time? Yeah. Oh you yeah, I'm gonna always get that nigga. <laughs> if you fight me, nigga, I'm gonna get you one time. That's fine. I'm gonna tell you now. I don't care if you knock me out. Damn! No, time out, time out. Nigga knocked you out. No. All right, I was about though. to say that's just crazy. no, because I, I didn't see niggas fade plenty of bitches. Just know I'm gonna get my licks in though. No, well, men should not hit women. They should not. But I condone it women. <laughs> can't hit men either though we gotta say mm-hmm. that too but men should not hit women but keep look she said mm, so you keep think- your hands and feet to yourself we're gonna keep all right that. good 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 all right, all right all right so when was your first rap video i want to know that right now oh man i smoke a lot of weed i would say like six years ago i can't say the exact time so, so time out i don't need to know your age i thought i was going to get an age though because oh, okay. you're in cali you 16 yeah were you i didn't even get into music until i got into richmond and let me see so i'm 29 right now okay so so minus seven so 22 okay okay so damn all right so we ain't even there yet we yeah, still at 16 still at so 16. you ain't you tell you told me what changed in cali you was out there for seven months then you went back to wichita Mm-hmm. I went to actually Missouri, then I ended up going to Colorado, and then I went back to Wichita. So, what do you like the most out of those places? Probably my hometown, cause it's my city. Okay, okay. Like in. it's just too much going on in Cali for real, for real. Like it's 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 gonna make or break you out there. And not to say it did that to me, cause my nigga was pretty much taking care of me. But yeah, I just seen a lot of shit out there, and I was like, wow, it's wild. All right, so so you know, do you want to get into everything? It's up to you. Do you? Want it's to? up to I'm me. If book. it's up to me, then fuck you. Yeah. What you told me before, what you just hopped into, were you doing that yet at the age of? 16 No I was not pushing P at, at 16 <laughs> Okay good 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 I was good. legally uh, I was of legal age Okay I was good was legal age Alright alright So now let's get to you Being grown then Yeah So now you're 18 mm-hmm. Where you at? On the street corner <laughs> so that's when the push and pee started. Yeah, that's when stripping Whoa. and push and pee came into play. Okay, yeah. so at 18, once you hit 18 and got legal, you're like, oh, I'm going to start stripping. Well, not exactly. Um, Which you know, was first? When you become a ward of the state, you know, um, with foster care, they keep you till you're 18. And the day you turn 18, they Release put your you. ass out. Yeah. And Did you have a place to go? No. So that's what made you start stripping. Yeah. No bread and you was like nowhere to go, begging people to stay with them, having to stay with men I didn't want to stay with. Damn. Just a lot of yeah, a lot of bad situations. So I got real tired of that real quick. So I had to figure something out. And um I met this girl and she kinda put me on game, so So a girl started you in the escort game yeah okay okay and but it was my so, girlfriend actually at the time so we she was dating. your girlfriend mm-hmm. so that started at 18 as well yeah i would say i was more probably 19 when i started pushing p i was 18 stripping okay so the stripping so time out let's get yeah. the stripping first yeah so stripping mm-hmm. girlfriend Pushing P. Yeah. Let's get it. All right. So strip. <laughs> you there? You, <laughs> you, you, you got it right. So 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 stripping. Tell tell me about that. Tell me about that. Do you remember your first uh, night? Yes, I was so embarrassed. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Why were you embarrassed? I could not dance. Honestly, mm. I was not the best dancer, and I'm still not the best dancer. I can shake ass now though, so that's okay. Nice. But um, at yeah. 18, you couldn't shake ass though. 
No. Did no you clue. have a lot of ass? Yeah. And we gonna get into that too because I seen the EP cover. Yeah. You know. So, but anyway, now BBL does wonders. No. Oh, <laughs> see, we gonna get into that then, too. Then. I had ass back then. No. Okay. Okay. So this is before the extra. This your body is on point. You know, you young. You nineteen. Okay. You know? Okay. So no, you're eighteen. You dancing now. Yeah. You embarrassed. Yeah. So what's I'm going serious. on? Tell me about that first. Um, night. I can just say I'm a pretty reserved person, honestly. Like once you, I get to know you and we vibe, I'm a turn up. But in the club, I didn't really talk to nobody. So I just got on the stage And did what I had to do And they was like Yeah girl You need to slow down You look like you dancing In a Beyonce music video And my whole face turned red Cause I'm sitting here Just going 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 Trying to you know To show off Not realizing you know This is more Seductive and sensual thing <laughs> so, And then I probably Had on some uh, Rainbow Lingerie fit <laughs> And some club shoes that ain't even dancer shoes. So all my game was fucked up on that stage. But I was cute and they hired me and I was young. So they gon' So that was like an audition. Yeah, that was pretty much an audition. And they was like, Well, you can just stay and work the rest of the night. Oh, well, you obviously nailed it. You did, did something I did right. Enough. I they think I was, was just like, cute enough. I think I was okay. just cute enough. They, they might have seen that you wanted it. Yeah, I definitely did. So, I are, are, do you still series. dance now? I do. I dance more like for private events and um, parties, like bachelor parties, birthday parties, that type of thing. I don't really like to be in the club anymore because I feel like the club just takes advantage of a lot of girls. Okay. With, oh. with finances, yeah, they got they deep in every bitch pocket. So, no, that shit must have raised a lot then, because back in the day, I I, I knew some strippers, mm -hmm. and they used to say that they only you know they ain't pay that much to well to i think strip. if you dancing locally like here well when i was dancing a few years back um i pretty much stopped dancing in the clubs out here but um i was dancing at candy bar for a long time um and baby dolls but they would only charge like i think 50 60 dollars. that's what i'm saying out. yeah 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 but when you th that but you want to go to a club where there's big money so when you go on so what's the biggest club you danced at um, probably Stadium Out in D.C. Okay, okay Yeah And then I um, danced At another club I can't even remember the name But it was in Allentown Pennsylvania And it was like a white club The only strip club out there But it was It was cool too But yeah They tip outs Was like 150 And if you didn't want to get Fully naked You had to pay 250 Oh, yeah. they paying for that. Yeah. No, no. yeah. So, they like if you don't show your asshole on this stage, you're going to pay us more money to come up funny. in here then. And I'm like, what if I don't want my booty hole out? Hey, hey, look, look. I'm with it though. That's what hey, she was with. Okay, that's fire though. That's fire. So so but that's later on, right? Yeah, that okay. was um yeah, that was kind of after I had learned to dance. Once I had came out to Richmond, I really started getting more into the dancing thing. I probably danced in Kansas for a few years, about 3 years. Okay, okay. Out here. So so all right. Now you're 21. Mm -hmm. But at 19 you started pushing P mm -hmm. and you had a girlfriend, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay. So like how did that happen Cause you said she gave you game and everything How the fuck yeah, that happened um, Well I kinda just It was kinda weird Because she was just tripping about bills and shit And then she was telling me how she got money And I was like Okay cause the strip club in Kansas Y'all already know That's probably trash Like there's no money In the strip clubs in Kansas at all no So uh, We was just like Fuck it You know I'ma just try it out She's like I got this white so guy So what's like the average night in Kansas Ooh That depends on the club The nice club I'ma say you can make like Two three hundred Okay Okay and Probably you, two around two On and, a good and night you going in For that two hundred Yeah and I didn't like that Okay <laughs> I don't like that Okay okay Alright so look It's a lot of Written what's, down clubs out there What's the most You ever made in one night The most I ever made In one night About 1800 That's alright though You know that's That's a good night That was a Yeah that was a really Decent night Okay 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 <laughs> Alright alright So so as far as, as Yourself You know You're 21 You pushing P Let the people know What the fuck That really mean Pushing P, you selling pussy. You out here trapping. <laughs> <laughs> now, was you your trapping. girlfriend your pimp? No. <laughs> no. So your I, money was I your do, money. If you going to sell your pussy, you better not give a nigga or a bitch your money. Please don't do that. That's okay, so you're shit. against that I'm all the way. percent against that. A thousand percent against that. Okay. Time. So no, never. No. People tried, though. Yeah. Okay. Oh, did, yeah. Did she try? 
No. All right, that's fire. We that's fire. We love each other, you know, and that's why I kind of felt secure to try it because I trusted her, you know. So I was like, I'm gonna just see, you know. Bitches out here fucking niggas for free and don't even get their nails done. Don't even want to go get them. So meal. that's how it started. Like, nigga, can you do this? Yeah, she's like, do you want to see? She's like, you can make some money quick, you know, like. And so, how did that start? As far as what, like, like, tell me about the first night. How did this oh, happen? Oh, um, that was I seen that one man that she introduced me to that day, and it. So I she set up the play though. It was her trick in the first place. So she. So was, she was selling pussy too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's why I I got that is a crazy relationship though yeah that's different yeah we gotta break that down i don't know if everybody I didn't know at first that she was doing that oh Honestly, yeah okay so you know she was kind of stressed and kind of threw it in like hey i know this guy and i've been dealing with him and he'll pay me this much money and i don't have to do much of anything and i'm like okay because you know i know about sugar daddies and stuff and i know there's been people that'll pay girls you know so i'm like i'm open i'm open to anything so i was like i'll try it you know and um yeah i went over there seen a man it was awkward as hell it was weird as fuck but i got my bread and at the end of the night that's what mattered to me <laughs> That's the fire. Hey, hey, you got the bread, and and but I did, I did kind of feel feel weird though. I'm not gonna. You lie. Felt, I felt weird. Felt weird that night. Yeah, I definitely did. I was like, damn, I don't even like that man. You know, maybe I shouldn't have did that. But at the end of the day, I was like, but you got some cheese. How much did you get? Four hundred dollars. Hey, you got yeah, that bread for an hour. So, for an hour? Okay, yeah. okay. So he was up in that. <laughs> nah, no, it it wasn't even that. No, honestly. In my experience, most niggas not gonna make it past fifteen minutes. Okay, so that's just my experience, though. That's not. I ain't gonna go so. And maybe crazy. because the business, maybe it's the business side, you know. But so, no, that sound like niggas is not lasting. Yeah, they're not. <laughs> right, right. So, so, so you do got OnlyFans, right? Yeah. So, so how are you doing with that? My OnlyFans is is doing cool right now, for real. Um, are you fucking on the OnlyFans? Yeah You're fucking on the OnlyFans So yeah. niggas know are, You're confident in it You're confident in your pussy I mean yeah Look at me Okay Okay <laughs> She's talking I'm confident that in myself Not just my coochie Okay she's confident in herself So right now Which is better I'm not What's better What is more bread OnlyFans mm. Stripping Or escorting Mmm Selling pussy always gonna get you the most money. I okay, like okay. It's in, in such high demand. <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> it's in such high demand. So, yeah, OnlyFans is a little slower because you have to wait basically about two weeks to even get a withdrawal after people have purchased something. I mean, for the long haul, as long as you don't touch your bread in OnlyFans, it's gonna stack and it's worth it. See, I don't know much about OnlyFans, mm -hmm. but being that. You are the first female on my motherfucking platform that is doing OnlyFans. We're yeah. going to definitely get into that, too. That's cool. Now, now, so now, stripping, talked about the girlfriend. Mm -hmm. We talked about the escorting. Yeah. But how long did you do that? Off and on for a while. I'm kind of, like, getting out the game now. So So you're getting out the game yeah, now. Yeah, but I'm shutting all that down now. But, you shutting um, it down now? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. It's, I mean it is shut down, hundred percent shut down now. But that's um, good. That's good. But I still um indulge in like the OnlyFans and um like the stripper party stuff like okay, that. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. All right, all right. So now you said you were doing that on and off mm -hmm. for, for a while. Yeah. Did you have any crazy experiences? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Not to cut that out. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I definitely had some crazy experiences. Um, and it was like the first time I really, around the time I first began, you know, doing everything. Um, this guy had came in and I didn't know to get my money first and foremost like i was kind of nervous i was like i don't want to you know irritate him like where my money and then he's like bitch i'm leaving or some weird shit i don't know i just was not comfortable i guess with communicating but with that's people. that sound like game right there so yeah. you just gave you got we gonna give the people some game you gonna give them some oh, game yeah, too ladies, get your so money 
first. First period. and foremost, you whether heard you her. You pushing P, whether you doing a stripper party, whether you coming up to a nigga crib, like fuck that. Whatever, get the get money, money fucking first. first. All yeah. right, so so continue. This you didn't get the bread first. <laughs> <laughs> so you pretty much know where this went. I didn't get the bread first, and you know, we did what we did, and um. This nigga So he goes in the bathroom And so I'm just kind of like Sitting there waiting Because I wanted to go to the bathroom So I'm just like Okay is he gonna come out And cause I'm waiting for my money too Like So where the fuck is the bathroom Oh he's at the hotel So we're in the bed Like the bed's back here And then you walk a little forward But you're in the, the hotel room mm -hmm, Okay the hotel, Yeah And um So He comes out eventually And then I go in there And close the door Um I don't hear the hotel door open or close nothing he I, dipped that nice with it he jumped out of a three-story window just not to pay just not to pay for some wow and how much was it that day? you owe me three hundred dollars that nigga bro boy he jumped out the three-story window for 300 you know what's so crazy i ran outside right find my girlfriend tell her what happened we see this nigga outside so we're screaming <laughs> This nigga, do you have a car? Like, now I'm really blown because I'm like screaming. We're so he screaming. only ain't got a car? Like, yeah, it was a white boy. So, and I never expected that from a white man. I ain't never had no white man play me out no bread. So that blew me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so um, we catch him in the lobby area, basically. We're screaming. The hotel people come out. So, talking about he jumped out the window and went in the lobby. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> then, then, you know, I gotta be the dumbest person ever because that's wild. But um, yeah. So <laughs> we catch him in the lobby hotel. People come over there, and they start calling the police. So it was just a big issue, and we had to dip because we don't mess with the police. So okay, okay. No. So he got out. I don't out care. Of that yeah, I had. To, what can I say? Like, what am I tell the police? So, right, right, right. Which is crazy because you can tell the police that you escort, and they will help you if something happens. Just let y'all know. Wow, that sounds crazy. Yeah. But maybe but yeah, that one was day. Probably I think the craziest thing as far as somebody doing some weird stuff. Like people are weird, period, sexually, you know, with the stuff that they request, but what's the craziest request you've received? Ooh, I think that's either peeing on somebody or putting a strap on and Damn. Doing it. So niggas him. is out here paying for you to put a strap on and fuck. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. No. So, so. A lot of women know. Uh, Y'all, there's a lot of women in the game. If I pull the, if I, I'm not even going to do it though, but if I showed you this website, you will probably see a lot of people you know on there. <laughs> wow. Yeah. A lot of local strippers, a lot of regular people are on that website. Older women, younger women, it doesn't matter. So the website though is still being used like to today. Day. Um, it was Backpage, but they shut that down. All right. So let's talk about Backpage then mm -hmm. because we probably around that time, you know, mm -hmm. what, 23, yeah, yeah, that's 22. what I was using. Then yeah. we're going to get into some music because that's when you started around that age yep, yep all right so so around this age that's how you push and pee selling mm -hmm. pussy mm -hmm. okay <laughs> <laughs> we just gotta make sure they keeping up you feel me yeah. so so but this was way before then niggas won't saying that then no no they wasn't saying that um i'm trying to think what's the word for <laughs> well in the in the real like whole game a nigga gonna call you a renegade they gonna call you a oh for sure because for you don't sure have a pimp. so okay. that's basically what I was but all right and you never looked for one no that's crazy that's crazy so you finessed the whole game but you are younger and this is a new era you feel yeah. what I'm saying back yeah. in the day it probably was a little different yeah you know it was saying? you had to be on your toes a little more back then I, but you always got to be on your toes period so I can't even yeah say yeah, that. yeah yeah so time out did you ever sell pussy in Vegas no. Okay, all right. I just had to check. I just no, had to check. No. All that right. was underage days. I wasn't doing nothing illegal back then except for probably dipping out the state when I wasn't supposed to, but Okay, okay. Yeah. So so now, you know, you push and pee. Yeah. It's twenty three. Yeah. You know, we went into that. Let's get into the music then. Yeah. All right. So now what made you say 
I'm gonna spit some bars. Honestly, um, cause time out. It sounds like you got some bars, but go ahead, go ahead. I'm gonna give you your credit. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I honestly got into music first by making beats. Um, so I just got on Facebook one day and was like, "Who?" So can you know how to make beats? You yeah. produce as well. Yeah, I have songs that I've rapped on that I've made my own beats. I just don't like to because it's so time consuming personally. So I like to just have somebody else do it. And I haven't went through the proper schooling, but I can make some some lit beats for sure. Of oh, what what program? Um, Fruity Loops. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I use the legit stuff, but okay. Yeah. All right, all right, that's fire. Niggas might gotta show me something with that. Real talk. Fuck that. I hear you, cause you say you can do everything. Basketball. We skipped over that. Then we gonna get into basketball, cause we skipped over that. You know what I'm saying? You gotta let them know everything. I mean, my basketball career was short lived. You know, I was really like getting blown up in high school about it, and knew I could really go somewhere but um, like I said I got put in foster care so once I got put in foster care that was pretty much but honestly when you told me you're from Wichita mm -hmm. that's the only thing I thought of that's Sports. crazy yeah no basketball yeah basketball it's the yeah. only thing I thought of and then you're like oh I play basketball I'm like yeah sound good <laughs> you know what I'm saying but it makes sense yeah yeah. you know what I'm saying so so now you know you're, you're rapping now mm -hmm. you know so yeah um, my boyfriend at the time was an engineer so um, one day I just was like let me get in the studio like I want to rap because I tried to sing. I can't sing. So did he pitch it to you or you? No, I just told him like, okay. let me get in the studio. There was another female there. What made you want to do it though? Another female was there that could okay. rap. Uh, she was about, I want to say seventeen, and she was cold though. She had bars too, and I was like, fuck it, let me hop on the song. Let me try to rap. Like I've been rapping. Is there a music scene in Kansas though? There is, there is, but I think you have to be accustomed to our sound to really get What's into it. What's the sound? I would say a lot of Filthy Rich, uh, Primo Rice. Um, it's a lot of Cali beats, the old school Cali so beats. So y'all like a version of Cali. Yeah, yeah, Damn. definitely. The definitely. only person that rings we'll the bell. We'll mix a lot of the South, though, like Texas. We definitely love Chopped and Screwed music. We bump, we fuck with Boosie Hard. What like. about Tech Nine? Because he's from yeah, Kansas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's from Kansas City. So um, you listen to Tech Nine? No. <laughs> but um, a lot of people do from Kansas. Okay, okay. At the time when he was popping. So Mac you, Dre back then, okay. you know. Okay. No, we was on on that shit. Yeah, I don't know. The only thing I know is Tech Nine from Kansas. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, so so, you know, you're rapping now. Mm -hmm. All right, I looked your music up. Mm -hmm. You've been rapping for years now. Yeah. How come it ain't no project out? I've been having a lot of personal issues. I think it it was mostly I don't even, I don't want to say it, but dealing with my ex that was my engineer. That is hard to have a relationship so, with somebody. Are you music. not going to take blame for it though? Five, like five, I, six, seven years a long time. It is. It is. Um, no, I'm not going to take blame for it because I'm a Scorpio. Okay. All right. No, I was going. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to let you that. slide, but I had that, that. If that nigga would have did my shit how I wanted him to, it would have been done. I, I had to just keep it real, and you know, I had to. But all yeah. right. So, so. But no, I definitely had a lot of personal stuff going on. Um, I've been dealing with being in the streets off and on for a long time, you know, and just getting myself together, period. I got, you know, I had a lot of trouble with the, the law. So that so was. Tell us about that. Um,. I had like seven warrants coming out here, but it was for dumb shit. It was like, and that's what brought you to Richmond, Virginia, where we're at. Yeah, I, I did. I did the take. Hey, I did the race. Okay. And um, so you they, caught? No, I'm joking. No, nah, they're they not coming to get me. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> they said oh, they're so not coming to get me. So you're still on the run. Yeah. But it's been seven years. They're not. Yeah. They're. But it's a. It's one over. of the charges is a felony warrant, but it's for marijuana possession. Okay. So it's gonna get dropped when I handle it, but. They don't care that I'm in Virginia. They know I'm here, and the magistrate said that they're not gonna come apprehend me. So they okay. said, yeah, as long as I stay out of so trouble. So you called up there and said, yo, no, nah, Virginia locked my ass up and took me to jail. And they's like, Kansas, are y'all gonna come get What is the word called? I forgot. It's a long um, word for that. Shit. Is it extradite? And we lit extradite. All right, yeah. I had they to did just not check. want to extradite me. That was a long time ago. That was yeah. a different life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I was real young getting in trouble for dumb shit, you know. But when you ke just keep getting in trouble, that shit will catch up to you eventually. So, but for now, they're not they not fucking with me. They chilling. All right. So, have, when the last time you got in trouble? Ooh, the last time I got in trouble, I'll say like four years ago, and it with Hanover County, bitch ass. What the hell you do? 
I had stole somebody plates off their car <laughs> and stickers off another car because I couldn't register my plates. <laughs> and you got caught or they pulled you? I was driving and he was posted up on the side of the street and this nigga pulled out and got behind me, ran my shit, and I went down. Damn. But I only got locked up for like a week. So they well, you me. had to just bond out. Nah, they wouldn't let me bond out. I had to wait. It was like the weekend too. Oh. So, you know, and then I don't know why it took like two extra days for me to go to court, but they let me sign myself out and was like, don't get in trouble no more. Is, is that the most time you ever did? Yeah. Good. I bond out and I, I'm, I'm gone. Okay. I'm out. Okay. Okay. So, so, you know, you now, when did the BBL come in? Last year. Around this time, actually. So I went that's June new. 3rd. That's yeah. new. Yeah. Right now, you told me your age. Not supposed to really ask a woman's age. You're really not. But you told me. Because I don't <laughs> think I asked. Because I'm a real nigga. Okay. Okay. You told me. I, I you know, now we know, though. Fuck it. The people know. You know what I'm saying? It's if so they bad. paying attention. You <laughs> dig? I ain't even going to remind them. Fuck it. Now, so so as as far as, as, as yourself, you know. Yeah. Now, you said that was a year ago. But let's get to around 25. 26 Now No I, I'm gonna say no disrespect Just because you're a woman But I seen in the older video You looked a little bit more Thicker Yes yeah. Yes So What Happened Was it the BBL Or what happened That got you You know Looking like you look right now The BBL Okay the BBL got me there Okay okay the Well got me oh, there. And where, where did you get it at Shout out to Jolie Plastic Surgery um, In Miami uh, my doctor is Eduardo Cariega. Okay, okay, yeah, he's, that's he's fire. Split though, yeah. So in Miami, how much did it run you? Five bands. Okay, okay. So it you spent that bread. Yeah. And you only had to go one time. Yeah. Do you have to do like massages here and there, or? Um, I think you're supposed to, but I didn't do none of that shit that I was supposed to do. I just now, <laughs> what has changed since the BBL? What has changed since the BBL? Um, I don't feel like much has changed. Honestly. Nothing has changed. No. Was it more bread? It didn't get you more bread. That's a serious I question. I felt like I got bread before. Yeah. All right, all right, all I, right. The only reason I really got my BBL is because I knew that I do not like to work out, and I wanted to and just improve my overall image. You know, so especially with the music, you know, image is really important. So okay, okay. And I, I so, did get, gain some happy weight. So <laughs> is that what made you get the BBL? Yeah, yeah, just gaining weight and not feeling confident in myself. So more. what made and you gain weight? Was weight. you just eating good or? Yeah, I was eating too much. Yeah, I was eating way too good. I was eating too much. So you, this is chill. when you stopped playing basketball. I to... <laughs> <Were> you... <laughs> yeah, I was not stripping. That probably took a big toll too. I was not stripping anymore at the time. I was in a serious relationship. Oh. So, um, so he made you stop? No, no, not necessarily. I would say him, but I got in trouble doing a lot of shit. Making money, of course, as you can only imagine, you know, it's kind of hard to step away from that lifestyle. So I'm trying to have a nigga and still be in the streets, and it just didn't work out. So, so when you say a lot of trouble, you were getting in a lot of trouble with him or with yeah, the law? yeah. So he was catching you doing certain shit, yeah. pushing P. A couple times he caught that, yeah. Damn, and he stayed with you. I was taking care of him financially, so he didn't have no choice. Damn, so you was taking care of him. Yeah. That's a lucky man. How he do that? Um, it's just because it won't even like that. Like I just seen a lot of potential in him. You know, like I said, he was an engineer, he was a videographer, and I was like, okay, and he did good work. And I was like, okay, this nigga is gonna boom. Like, so if I just invest some time, energy, money, so you, and that, you that's believed a in him, basically. Yeah, I definitely did. Yeah, I still do. I support fire. him. That's why I support him 100 percent to this day. Um, I don't know if y'all see the op talks or um, sniper vision films. They he actually just shot my um, sipping video. Okay, okay. And he came up. He has come up, and I knew he would come up. I, I feel like some people you just know like they gonna so, come up. So did he invest in you also? No, not I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to think, say, you know. I think he could have did a lot more for me, but you know, that's that's here nor there. But um at the end of the day though, everything I do genuine. So, so that's your most recent relationship. 
No, I'm no. All right, all right, if you got something going on there, we ain't even gonna get on. Yeah, but but for sure, as far as, as yourself, you know, weight loss, the BBL, you said that was only a year ago, right? Yeah, yeah. You said nothing changed, right? Not really. I think um, I guess you get more attention. Right now, I'm gonna show them the picture of the EP. Okay. I'm gonna put that right there. <laughs> Go ahead. Just so they can see. Let them see what's the about to drop. Right now. So describe <laughs> your, your ass right now while it's in front of them. Like just they're looking <laughs> at your ass right now. It's it's looking right. It's I got looking a fat right. ass. Okay, okay. So they should, should subscribe to the OnlyFans. Why would you not? Shout it out. Um, shout out to my only fans Y'all gotta go follow me It's XXX underscore Scorpio With a K underscore XXX Now how long have you been doing only fans? Um, I honestly hopped on that wagon As soon as they started it So I want to say like three you years You smart as fuck for that, for that Yeah. So you was caking at the beginning Keep it real Oh yeah yeah Cause that was definitely around the same time COVID had just began really Cold. Well I think I was started I had started the year before COVID But yeah like like that January, you know, COVID kind of had the outbreak, and it, it it definitely went up that year. So when you started, though, my first year was trash on OnlyFans for real. Oh, it was trash. Yeah, but you was building a fan base. Yeah, slowly, slowly. Yeah. Now, do you now? Like, this is a good question. I don't give a fuck. When you fucking on there, are you playing your music? <laughs> I do not. You should do that. I know. You gotta. I mean, don't try to go ham, but just throw it up in that motherfucker. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. Like for sure. you gotta, you gotta market it. <laughs> you right. You right. You all right. All I right. definitely use a lot of my music though on like promo for my OnlyFans. Like, um, if I'm doing a promotion or a sale and throwing it up on IG or Facebook, Twitter, so I'll, I'll have my. Music. So right now, how much is the OnlyFans? Right now, it's thirty a month. Okay. Not bad Not bad No I try to be I really try to be fair You get a lot more followers I feel like If you do something realistic Right Versus Yeah Out the Out the wall Off the wall shit Like I see some people Being Putting their shit For like $80 A month And I'm like Niggas don't even want to pay their Netflix subscription. Right, like, right. Niggas got too many bills. Like, do something, you know, kind of decent so people can stay subscribed, I feel like. But that's just my opinion. Okay, okay. So, right now, you know, you got the OnlyFans and you've been in it for like three to four years. Yeah, yeah. All right, so, three, so. like I said, we got to get a game to some some... People, you feel me, yeah. sisters for sure. Yeah. Now, if, if they gonna do the OnlyFans, you got your shit up. You're successful with it, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Tell them how to be successful on Only OnlyFans. I'm trying to decide if I really want to give out the game or not. All right, you ain't gotta give out a hundred percent, but at least give them sixty. Come on now, man. You got to give them some game. It's your your discounts, you know, your specials that you're running, the quality of your videos. Um, I think everybody knows that, though. And then, yeah, your promo. Your okay, promo game. so basically, be point. it sounds like you really just got to put your time in. You do. You really do. Okay, yeah. okay. And, um, I mean, just find creative ways to promote yourself. I can't say this, though. If you go on Twitter, you can find legit people and, like, um, a lot of, they call it sex workers. They call it sex workers. Um, but we'll support each other. Like, um, we reshare a lot of each other's stuff on Twitter and we'll get 20. What's your Twitter? <laughs> I'm not giving out my Twitter right now. All right, all right. no, oh, is that is it's that under right? construction? All yeah. right, all right. I'm just, I'm trying to get the people to fuck with you. That's yeah, it. Yeah, no, it's okay. All right, all right. Definitely go follow me on IG though. All right, what's I mean, the Instagram there? My IG is double underscore harmony h r m o n i i you double sound, underscore. I hope they heard that, but you sound so country. That shit is just funny. Like, what? Like you know, nah, niggas out here be talking about aura. Aura. <laughs> We don't do that shit We say R nigga <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got some country ass people In Virginia too But I fuck with it Cause it makes me feel more You know like I'm at home Everybody say that About Virginia <laughs> Yeah Virginia country They got a lot of trees No I'm saying Everybody say they feel at home Oh yeah it is It's a it, it makes you feel comfortable I can say that Now Let's talk about Instagram a little bit Since you brought up Your Instagram Your shit got deleted right Oh yeah Alright so your Instagram Got deleted 
Yeah, that was heartbreaking. Tell me how that happened. Um, it's either because bitches is just hating and reporting my shit, or because I'm just pushing the boundaries, putting a little bit too much on the internet but i don't feel like that's valid because you see celebrities posting wild ass shit in thongs and what shit. is wild though just being in a thong i didn't see people fucking on instagram on i've live. never seen that I oh, really on instagram i mean if they I've did seen they should areolas and nipples out um damn what like you gotta put me on to these instagrams because i really <laughs> haven't seen this on instagram like snapchat or something that's different like i've seen it instagram i don't really be twitter is the worst twitter is that's worst. what i'm saying i don't really i'm wow. new to twitter i twitter never really was on that shit basically porn hub really dead ass speaking of porn hub would you do porn no 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 okay so only fans is the furthest is going yeah. to go i feel like i'm in control of that you know and i'm making my bread my own way you know they don't i don't feel like they will pay it you enough like for you what you're doing the whole game though like as far maybe as maybe i did maybe you I did. did you cracked the code that's what I'm i saying. mean i'm blessed i feel like i'm blessed because you know there is women unfortunately that's in situations like being pimped out and don't even want to pimp you know or some, some I, shit that's, like that that's that cali shit i heard yeah. niggas is just gay banging on the bitches they will pull up on you mm -hmm. I've, I've had it happen so yeah, it's scary out there, and that's why I will never go back. Texas is another place like that. Chicago is another place like that. Like it gets crazy, and I'd rather just be safe than. So fun. you've been in Chicago? Yeah, just a couple times, and literally, I wasn't out there long for probably a few days each time, <clears throat> and I ran into so many like off-putting men to say it lightly that are trying to coerce you to go with them somewhere, get you in their car, or you know, just crazy like. I've had somebody try to kidnap me before here in Virginia, actually. In Richmond. Mm hmm. Yeah, in Richmond. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So how long like, ago was that? That was probably like three to four years ago. All right. Can can we get that story? And yeah. Then, I mean, it ain't that crazy, but like you I just want to hear it. Yeah. Um, I was just looking for some like some bread, basically, because I told you I was in a relationship and was trying to you know stop pushing pee and all that right. stuff out of respect for him. So. I'm going to get into doing massages and stuff. And I see these little ads on Craigslist. So I get on there, hit somebody up. This man pull up and is like, okay, I'm going to interview you. And I told him my situation. Like, I don't have a car, so I can't really come. He's like, it's okay. I don't mind. I help a lot of people. And I meet a lot of people in situations. This is why I started this business, X, Y, Z, right? So I get in the car. And I'm asking him, like, so where's your business website? Like, you got some business cards. I see a raggedy-ass massage table in the back of this nigga car. And I'm, that's like all I see so I'm like you got any you know any proof of this business and he's getting mad like every question I ask him he's getting irritated so I start really like peeping this nigga and I'm like this nigga got a big ass ring on his finger this nigga got a weird ass burgundy suit on I'm like this this ain't feeling right this nigga give me pimp vibes so basically he's getting irritated so I'm like it's okay you don't have to get frustrated I was like I'm gonna come I was just trying to see you know ahead of time I, I was playing stupid basically like like, I'm about to go get my stuff because he was like because this is what threw me off the most he was like um yeah the place I wanted you to work at in Richmond we're all booked in full so I have to take you like two hours away to this other um massage place but it's the same exact thing you know you're gonna get trained to massage and all the stuff and we have on-site living whatever I'm like okay and so i'm like i'm gonna go get my stuff and i got out the car got in the house locked the door i was like nigga i'm calling the police get the fuck off my property nigga you trying to kidnap me and he snapped on me he was like bitch um you about to get in this motherfucking car you gonna give me some motherfucking gas money i drove three hours to come get your ass da -da -da -da. i'm gonna get you bitch you think you about to get away and it was like crazy and it was what's the worst things like this nigga really came back like a week later outside the house and was like sitting on the block like low-key yeah damn so but, that's a good segue though because yeah. we gonna talk about your music videos because we yeah. gotta at least give them your music too man yeah. yeah now you got the straps in the rap video i seen it yeah so where the strap was at that day man man i was younger you know i wasn't even i was kind of more naive i could say that i was just more naive back then and I felt like, okay, this is a legit business, a legit businessman, but 
not really thinking like this nigga probably a pimp and gonna kidnap me type shit. So okay, you know I'm going on a business interview. I'm not bringing my strap. <laughs> like right, you now, know this is some other type shit you know right so i'm not thinking to bring that but i didn't even have a gun at the time well honestly. at that time in life you sound like you didn't know the game a little naive at the yeah, time yeah very yeah still very naive yeah. okay still but you got the game now though yeah but i got the game down pat. okay yeah. okay yeah. okay so so you got the straps in the video what you feel about that you see what the fuck those going are on prop now. prop guns good we're gonna start there all right because i'm not gonna be in no video <laughs> raving no real gun in nobody's face like okay good gun safety is important all right good good i just seen that i'm like go oh, she out here with the joe in the video but <laughs> <laughs> All right, fuck it, fuck it. It's props, fuck it. All right, so so talk more about your music because you say you got the EP coming, you yes. know. So so when you said next month, right? Yeah. Was yeah. I supposed to say that? Yeah, that's Or fine. you already said that? Yeah, I said that. All right, that's but no date now. yet. No exact date. If it no don't drop, I'm going to be at you, like, real time. I believe it. Like, I believe it. Like, real time. You sound like you from up up top. No, I'm from Richmond, Virginia. Nigga, you sound like a New York nigga. Well, my full family, I got to say it, since you tried to call me out saying I sound like an up north nigga. Yeah. I sound like me, but... But the like, accent It's like you have an accent I'm saying this is The people who raised me You yeah. feel what I'm saying So yeah. they're all from Like Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania That's where okay, like 90% okay. of my family's from Okay I got sense. family other places But fuck it I ain't gonna say fuck them I wanted to <laughs> But no. fuck it We ain't gonna I, You know I, Getting all that Now you know, as far as, as yourself, you know, you got the music videos, you got the music. Describe your music to the people. What's going on? Mm. Um, my music is a little different. I think I'm a lot more open and I'm definitely coming a lot more aggressive on my music because I'm a very laid back person, but I can turn up real quick. So I think I'm definitely focused more on the the turn up part with this EP. Like I'm so, definitely making music for the the females for sure. Okay. I, I think I rap more like a nigga back in the day. Honestly, it was not very feminine and sensual. So I'm more. So now you got some sexy bars. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's fire. That. But I still can pop off though because I like to pop my shit. I think all right, it sounds like I'm gonna be real, you got some talent. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you your credit. I appreciate it. You know that. what I'm saying? I've been listening, you know, I be listening to people music when I look them up. Yeah. You know, if if you don't didn't have the talent, I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. But as far as <laughs> sure about that. Yeah. No, I'm for real, I'm for real. What you, like, what you what you would say if the music was whack and you was in the interview? I just wouldn't have said nothing about it. You feel me? Like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna interview you yeah. and tell you, yeah. yo, your music trash. That's crazy. I was just wondering, you know, I'll never, I'll be like, you know, the people not feeling you. You know what you got to say about that? But I'm saying, if I'm, I, if if somebody hit me up and and they, and I'm not feeling it, that's yeah. cool. But you know, I'm be real. I hit you up. Like that's yeah, that yeah, would that's yeah. just not good. But yeah, yeah. if it won't it won't good, I just wouldn't say shit. I'm gonna just be real. Now, 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 as as far as yourself, mm -hmm. you know, we didn't cover everything. Now. Do you want to tell the people this Trina story? I do not want to talk on the Trina story right now. All right. Now, we I ain't going to talk don't. about the Trina story then. but We can save that for a part two. We're going to say... No, we're going to have a part two. <laughs> but what I do want to say... We'll start at least here. We'll keep it here at least. Yeah. Trina, I looked on your page, you know, because when I look people up, I'm nosy on it. You feel yeah. me? I want to at least... Gather something that I could talk about. I don't want to just freestyle everything, but yeah. I seen that. I seen her in the comments. Yeah. So, yeah. so talk about getting Trina to comment on your music that just fucking dropped. That was wild. That was definitely mind blowing. Like, I was definitely. I don't know. I don't even think I could process it at the time. I was just in so much shock. Honestly, I was like, "What? Trina really like?" So my she shit? did that without you hitting her up. Yeah, she liked Whoa, my video and commented. Yeah, yeah. I was blown. So then I ended up hitting her up, but 
We gonna have to go into that Alright so we gonna keep that part The story for part like, two Yeah I don't know I might have to meet her Because I'm trying to link with her At the Rock the Bells Fest So you like, smart You smart It's mm-hmm. about relationships Yeah I don't you wanna get, let one um, Salty bite You know Ruin the whole dish Right so. right We ain't gonna get all the way into it Yeah Because you doing things yeah. Long story short I still got shit emotions Like yeah. you're doing other yeah. shit You feel yeah. what I'm yeah. saying So now Get the people up to date what's going on now with you right now honestly um i'm more focused on dropping this ep and getting some features with some good artists um i don't know if y'all know um beat billionaires um he's from richard yeah i think yeah. shipping him to be exact but. okay okay that's kind of an area I, I fuck with um but yeah he has a brotherhood huncho 58 i think um and he signed with like rick ross or something so i'm gonna plan on doing a feature with him coming up um and then another artist feli um he's a richmond artist too he got a little clout on the internet he's verified and shit on ig so i'm probably gonna have a feature locked in with him too they both reached out wanting to feature so i think that's mostly what i'm working on is just featuring with people that got a good fan base built hopefully i can get in touch with a celebrity artist i'm talking to uh i can't say i'm talking to trina's manager um and he wants to, me to get down to atlanta and do something with zaytoven so we'll see if we're gonna slide that or not okay okay yeah. well that sounds like you got a future you know you got work coming yeah. For the people Yeah You know and, and good luck on that You know You know I'm gonna be in tune with you For sure For oh, sure Most definitely Now You know What do you wanna say To the people With the closing um, What I just can they say, expect also mm, What can they expect They gonna expect Some lit ass music Some ass shaking music Some real ass shit though Like everything I do I put in my music But I think y'all gonna Once y'all hear this EP Y'all gonna Fuck with it for sure Um and just go follow me Check out my IG um, Show love, support And I always am down to work with people Period Alright, bet, bet Well, we out It's the Stay Black interview And we gone Swear